Hey guys, what's up? It is Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really quick dinner. And it's not going to be quick in the sense of the amount of time it takes for the meal to be ready. But the preparation is quick and you're not going to have much to clean up besides the pan. And you're not going to have to spend a bunch of time at the stove flipping the chicken over and stuff like that. You're actually going to be cooking chicken in the oven. That's probably one of the best ways to do it. I think it tastes the best also. You don't have to worry about burning it. So anyway, let's get started. Here I just have a package of chicken breast, three packs. And what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to open this up and trim all of the fat off the chicken breast. And I'll show you guys what the fat looks like when I get to it. All right, so here is the first chicken breast out of this package, and you can see all of this white stuff right here. This is actually the fat of the chicken. You can see it's not really like the meat, it's actually just kind of this weird white stuff, and you don't really need to eat it. It's actually not good for you, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of trim all the white parts off. Any veins, I see I'm gonna cut those off, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all three of these pieces here. Another tip for this is when you're actually cutting the fat off, you can use a fork to hold the chicken down instead of your hand because the other day when I was doing this, I actually had my hand out and I cut my finger open and had to get stitches on it. And uh, you don't want that to happen. So that's just something I've learned through experience. So you can use a fork just like this to cut the white part off. All right, so as you guys can see here, I just finished cutting off all of the fatty parts of the chicken. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that aside. And here we have the chicken breasts all cut up, like I said. And what you can do with this, um, when you're cooking it in an oven, there's actually a couple things you could do. You can kind of pour a liquid in it and the chicken will kind of soak some of that up and give it a lot more flavor. And today, I'm actually going to be using some apple cider vinegar. Um, it kind of has a really unique taste and I think it tastes good. But of course, there's other options that you could use, such as lemon juice or whatever else you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump a little bit of this vinegar into the chicken pan. and It'll kind of give it something to cook in and make it nice and juicy. And then as far as seasonings go, one quick tip for you guys is to always make sure the seasonings that you get are salt free because most of these seasonings um, are actually filled with salt and you figure when you add a lot of seasoning onto your chicken just like this, you're going to be adding a ton of sodium and that's really not necessary when you can just buy some salt free seasoning. Um, the kind that I like to use is Miss Dash, that's just preference. I think you can get it at Walmart, but if not, uh, most of the labels will say if it's salt free, so that's just something to look out for. And today I'm going to be using some Fiesta lime and a little bit of tomato garlic. And for a little bit more flavor, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of Tabasco sauce. This is basically hot sauce. It's really low calorie and it's kind of an optional thing. Uh, basically all of these ingredients are optional. This is just my preference. I'm showing you guys how to make it. So I'm going to add a little bit of Tabasco to it. Alright, so now that we have all of our chicken here, we're actually going to be putting foil on the top of this and putting it in the oven. And I'm going to preheat my oven for uh, 415 degrees and it's gonna cook for about an hour. And the nice thing about cooking it in an oven like I was talking about earlier, is you can actually go and sit on the computer, check your email, do something else while the chicken's cooking. And then when the timer goes off, you're gonna come down and have dinner right here ready. And you can also, you're also gonna have leftovers. So it's gonna save you time and it's a good way to eat healthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover the top part of this in aluminum foil and stick it in the oven for an hour at 415 degrees like I said and I will see you guys when it's done. Alright so the hour is up and I just took the chicken out of the oven here and we're going to go ahead and take the foil off. And this chicken smells really good and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. And you can kind of see just by me picking up with a fork it's really, really juicy. It's not tough or anything. You can see a piece just flaked off right there, and it's fully cooked. So there you go. There's three nice pieces of chicken. Uh, of course, like I said, you can have leftovers, and what I'm going to do is actually steam some vegetables with this, but I'm not really going to show you guys how to do that because I'm sure you already know, and that will make a really healthy meal, good weight loss meal, good muscle building meal, whatever you want. And um, that's going to do it for this video. So if you guys wouldn't mind to rate the video, that helps me out a lot. And my Facebook page will be down below, like always. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.